Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about Thieving Styles and Blood Demon Arts for a tier list. This was a recommended video on my Discord, so if you ever want another video like this where I take your suggestions, I will likely do it. Um, so let's get right into the video. So, first we're going to start off with Aero. Um, Aero is a Aero is a pretty good blood demon art for open world versus characters like Rengoku and Akaza in the main world. It's not completely awful, but it's not the best, so yeah. It's not useful in main things like Aura Dungeon or Muzan Train, so it's mainly gonna go into either D or E tier. Insect it's alright as well. It's not going to do a lot in anything except open world. It just doesn't have the range or the AOE to like handle itself. So it's probably just OB and D tier. There's nothing more to really say about it. It just doesn't do enough damage and its moves are not that good. Especially the kick ability. Then you have wind. Wind I don't really like but it's not terrible and it's not that amazing. It takes a lot of breathing by you. So unless you have something like Kamado or something with um, faster breathing, it's not that amazing. So it's going to go in C tier. It's okay for like everything equally, but if you use it for PvP, you can put it in like A or S tier if you only care about PvP. But this list isn't really about PvP, it's more about e PvE. Water is also pretty good, but it's not that good for anything. So it's also weaker than Wind. So it's about the same thing, but it, it has better moves than win in my opinion. So it's about the same tier. You can't really use it in dungeons, but you still use it. You have sound. It's only going to go in B tier because it's amazing for open world and PvP for PvP, but not really anything else. So you can't really use it for like that kind of stuff. We have snow breathing. You can put this in. B tier if you wanted to, but I'm not putting C tier because uh, it's really good. It does a lot of damage. It can do like 200 damage with a lot of its abilities, just doing massive damage. But um, it just isn't really that good for fighting like multiple opponents. So like the dungeon, you have Thunder, the classic. I'm gonna put that in either C or B tier. Probably just C right here. It's pretty good. Um, it's probably gonna give you like the best best uh, open world experience and uh, d fighting bosses. You have missed. We don't even need to talk about this. You can just put it right in A like I just did. Like it doesn't really matter. It's just like it's good for everything. Um, Shockwave. Shockwave is good but we're only going to put it in B tier. It's better than everything else in B tier just because it has some good AoE and it has compass you know, that gives you invincibility. So it's pretty good. There's nothing really to say about it. Um, ice, we don't even need to talk about that. We all know it's kind of busted. It's a little bit too overpowered in my opinion. But, yeah. Uh, there you go. I asked the whoop. Uh, I need to add a row real quick. Yeah, it's just, I'm going to just put it in like, I'm going to make its own tier. There you go. It just needs its own tier. There's nothing really better than ice. Ice is just the best. It's just, there's nothing about it. And then you have dream. Dream is about A tier. It's not nearly as good as Ice, so you can't even put it in S tier. But it's still really good. It has really good AoE, good range, all that. Beast, about B or A tier. I like playing in B. It just doesn't have the range, but it has really good AoE and all the moves connect really well. It's really easy to use B Beast, so it's not really any skill. Um, Reaper, that's solid B or A tier. It's really what your opinion. I don't like the moves too much, and it's really good for most things, so it's not really bad. So you can play an A tier if you wanted to, but I don't really like it, so take it or leave it. There's nothing really else to say. Ball, Otamayari, that's going in straight to E tier, like it's that bad. Has no AoE except the last move. The last two moves are time locked, uh, you'll, you have to activate full arms, that's only temporarily. Um, all of the moves are single. So it's pretty bad. And then you have Swamp. Swamp the classic. Everyone used to use it. The Swamp meta. The last update. So that's either going to go in A or S. I'll probably just A, yeah. 
it's not the best. But yeah. Uh, and then you have uh, Nezuko. That's where we go straight to A. It's really good for dungeons. Really good damage. Really good AoE. It, there's nothing really bad about it. It just doesn't compare to Ice. So yeah, this is pretty much the list. You can move things around slightly, but that's really how it goes right here. You also have, oh yeah, you also have Flame. That's where it goes straight to B. It just doesn't have the range, but new buffs pretty good for it. So yeah, um, that's the tier list. Um, I, this is a test video mainly for my voice. Um, hopefully you guys um like the tier list, and obviously in the comments you can um say if you disagree or agree. Um, I I, I read all of them. So yeah, if you have anything you disagree about, I'll even like express more in the comments because. I don't really know what to exactly say. It's just like this is just my feeling, and you have people that will change it. This is mainly opinion based, but overall, you can't really say anything except like ice is the best, and yeah, it's unfair advantage. So yeah, thank you for watching, and hopefully you did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.